Krasinski of the National Junior Honor Society. I'm Haley and I'm the president. I'm Emerson, I'm the vice president. I'm Hallie and I'm secretary. I'm Ella and I'm historian. And I'm Sarah and I'm president. We're making this video for you guys to answer frequently asked questions so that you are more prepared for junior high. Good luck! Okay, twist to the right, pass your number, then get to it. Then go to the left and pass your second number, then hit it, and then go straight to your last number. Never fear, Captain Walker is here! If your locker jams, just go to the office and ask for a janitor to come help you open it. This is the girls' locker room, but the boys looks exactly the same except opposite. So if you come in here, there's lockers that you'll be able to pick and you have your own lock that has your own combo that you can put on your own locker. And then in here, this is Miss Holland's office for the girls, and then this is the bathroom. And then there are some showers here, and then the gym. To go to the gym, you just go down here. Here's what you need to bring. Deodorant. Hair accessories. <laughs> the shoes and socks. You have 10 minutes at the beginning and end of every class to change. Every PE class should have every student wearing a shirt that is $13 from the PE teacher. And exercise shorts for the guys or leggings and shorts for the girls. Knee length. Make sure to wash your PE clothes. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Mr. Scholl. Uh, what subjects do you teach? I teach um, study skills, Spanish, history, basketball, bowling, uh, romantic walks on the beach, candlelight dinners. And what's the cool thing about you? Um, some people are afraid of me uh, because I look scary. Um, so you can either think that I'm scary or get to know me and know that I'm not. <laughs> What's your name? Mr. Anderson. What subject do you teach? I teach CTE, Tech and Engineering. What's a cool fact about you? I've been to China twice. Okay. Hi, I'm Mrs. Bigum. Uh, what do you teach? I teach seventh grade English because Sevies are the best. And what's the cool thing about you? Um, I was born cross-eyed. This is where most of the ninth graders have their lockers. And the counseling office is here. It's right here. So most of the English department is in A Hall and in C Hall. And there's some science classes in this hall. Yes. And A Hall connects with the cross hall. This is the cross hall, and if you're on Office aid or student council or coffee center, your locker's in here. And there's a bathroom. There's bathrooms right here. And, and, drink drink. and it's a shortcut to Sea Hall. This, this is Sea Hall! In Sea Hall, we have multiple classrooms. There's the drama room, which is right here. And you can see the posters up there. And we have English, and there are doors to the library back here. Behind the library, there's also math and then science. <laughs> this is B Hall from the end of C Hall and A Hall. Um, that way we have our math classes and stuff. 
And this way we have our language and history classes. This is D Hall. This is where you come if you're late to get a tiny slip. You go right over there to the classroom. You come in this room and these nice ladies will help you. So. These are also the only bathrooms you can use during lunch. This is F Hall. F is for food and fun. In F Hall, we have the cafeteria, the food gym, and a lot of elective classes. <laughs> yeah, so most of the fun classes are cleared out at the end of the hall, and then the cafeteria is just right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is G Hall. This is the orchestra room and the ASL room. Miss Landry and Miss Mesmer. Yep. As a seventh grader, your locker will either be in this hallway or in the F hall. Over there, we have Mrs. Shanoff and Mr. Anderson. We have Mr. Hinton's CTE class. Yeah. And then this is, the choir this is Mrs. Room. Drake. She teaches all the choirs. That's also the girls' locker room. So you go in through here, and then I think, I don't really know what goes on here. This is also Miss Drake. This is Mr. Bateman's band room. Trinity Fountain. The boys' locker room. Go in there. And the conditioning room. And Mr. Bosch are teaching that for eighth graders. And this is E Hall. Isn't that an awful history? Yeah, it's close, it's close, it's close. Oh, oh, oh. Ow, that action! Come on, bro. <laughs> Don't run in the halls. Oh. You have plenty of time to get there. Just calmly walk. Yeah. Don't be afraid of the ninth graders because they're actually really nice. They were in your spot two years ago. Talk to lots of people and be willing to open up your friend group. Just be nice to everyone. <laughs> To determine what lunch you have, you have to look at a lunch schedule poster. Come closer. <laughs> if I had Mr. Bateman for third period, Mr. Bateman has first lunch, so I have to go to first lunch too. For first lunch, you go to first and second period, and then you go to lunch, and then you go to your last two periods. If you have second lunch, you go to your first three periods, then lunch, then your fourth period. You can eat lunch in F Hall! Welcome to the lunchroom! This is the main line. You enter your student ID into this machine. Please make sure to memorize it. There is a different choice of food every day. This is the salad line. If you need, you can get cups right here. This is the second main line. It has the same food as the first main line. This is the sandwich line. You can get different meal choices every day from sandwich. This is the pizza, pizza line. line. There's a new pizza each day. She's so enthusiastic. <laughs> this, this is, is the a la carte line. Where you can buy extra food. With money. <laughs> In junior high, it's important to work hard and get good grades. Good grades will help you to succeed later in life. Skyward is an excellent tool to check your grades, but don't check it too often and let it become an unhealthy habit. Procrastinating is bad. Don't do it. Also, make sure to stay on top of all your late work. Even though some teachers have a really good late work policy, it's much better to stay on top of your work and not fall behind. You got it, Huskies. Oh,